All right, today for something quite different, um, I'm going to be showing you uh, a recent development uh, related to the R programming language. So R, if you're not aware of what it is, is, is a statistical programming language that's mainly used in the data science field for data processing, data engineering, data visualizations, machine learning, and so on. Uh, it's it's a very fast language for processing data. It's not made at all to uh, you know, output graphics on the screen and anything like that. So it's fairly slow for you know drawing polygons and this kind of thing. Uh, and typically interfaces uh, with libraries like Hiro um, and so on. Um, so it's always been a challenge to actually produce uh, very fast. Uh, ref I mean graphics at a very fast refresh rates uh, using R. But this has changed recently uh, with um, the release of the NARA package. And this package implements uh, native uh, rasters, um, kind of data structures that make it possible to um, you know, accelerate um, the, the delivery of data to the screen uh, by removing a number of steps that were needed for transformation before. And now, um, the, the maintainer of that and the developer of that package actually has released uh, a demonstration of uh, you know another world, uh, the old game from uh, Eric Chai in, in 1991, and so um, this demonstration actually the, the author has uh, ported the game um, to Linux. Uh, I mean to R, which runs into many environments, including Linux. And now you can see that you can run uh, another world uh, using R at uh, the original speed of the game, uh, which was between 15 and, and 10 FPS at the time, which is normal to have the right uh, speed of gameplay. So it's, it's actually very cool. Um, it's the first time that R is able to produce um, this kind of graphic at this kind of speed. And well, it's, it's not going to become uh, the next uh, programming language for developing games. Uh, it's certainly very exciting to see these uh, new possibilities. And I'm looking forward to see uh, what developers will do with that going forward.